This System Center Virtual Machine Manager 2016 training is designed to get you up and running quickly with just the basics. On ITDVDs.com, we go over all the intermediate and advanced stuff in depth, so please go to ITDVDs.com for more training. So to access Virtual Machine Manager 2016, we're going to use the Virtual Machine Manager console. I'll just double click on it. We're going to type in the server name and the port. The default one is 8100. I'm going to use my current account to go ahead and access it because it has permissions. So our Virtual Machine Manager console has different sections. We've got our VMs and services. This is probably where we're going to do a lot of our administration, even of our hosts and our virtual machines. Our fabric, this is how our environment is designed. So our networking, our storage, and our infrastructure. We're going to do a lot of the setup from the fabric section. And then we have a library. A library is where we're going to store a lot of things, like our virtual machine templates, our ISO files. So we're going to administer our library from here jobs pretty much every change we make or kick off is a job so we can view the progress of it and see if it succeeded or failed and why by highlighting it and then we have settings these are going to be just virtual machine manager settings where we administer our user roles and assign our permissions so let's go back up to VMs and services to create a virtual machine I've got a Hyper-V cluster here I can right click on it and click on create virtual machine here I can create a virtual machine from a VM template or a virtual hard disk and these are going to be stored in our library. You can see I've got quite a few there or we could create just a new blank virtual machine. You can specify generation 1 or 2, give it a name. I'll call it server 6000, make it generation 2. Here's where we're going to configure the virtual hardware for this virtual machine and availability. If we want to make it highly available in the cluster, we just check this box. I'll go ahead and click next. And we can select where we want to deploy it to. If we have a private cloud, we can deploy it there or place it on a certain host group. This is called. And when I click Next, I'll be able to select a specific Hyper-V host that I want to put it on. And you notice we get star recommendations for which one it thinks is the best place to put it. So I'll go ahead and put it on Hyper-V02. And from here, we can configure other settings like virtual machine location, virtual hard disk location. For our virtual network adapter, we can see where it's connected and change it if we need to and also what VM network is connected to and in our training on itdvs.com we go over all this stuff in depth how to set it up what it is how it works so I'll go ahead and click next and we've got some other startup options click next and I'll go ahead and create it and there it is okay it's created now if I want to install an operating system on this virtual machine a guest operating system I can go to the properties of it hardware configuration, go to the virtual DVD drive and add an ISO image that's been added to my library. And most likely we want to share it instead of copying it and we show how to configure that and set it all up as well on the training on ITDVDs.com. To power on the virtual machine we can simply right click on it and click on power it on. Once it's on if we want to power it off we can shut it down or power it off that's like pulling the plug it's a hard shutdown to create a checkpoint for the virtual machine. We can click on Create Checkpoint. To manage our checkpoints, we can click on Manage Checkpoints. If we want to deploy a virtual machine from a template, we can go to our library, go to our VM templates, and I've got a couple of templates here. We can right-click on it and click on Create Virtual Machine. And we can go through the wizard to deploy this template. And if you're not familiar with a template, basically it's a virtual machine that is configured and installed just the way we want it. It's like a web server and we want to deploy multiple copies of that particular virtual machine. This makes it very easy to do it. I'll just call it Web Server 500. And if I want, I can change the virtual hardware. We can configure the guest operating system. This is really nice. It configures the virtual machine name. We can join it to a work group or a domain so that when it's deployed, it's completely up and running the way we want it. Let's click Next. Again, select the destination. I'll go ahead and deploy it to a certain host. I'll deploy it to Hyper-V02. Click Next. And again we have another option to configure certain settings. And we can check the box to start the machine after deploying it. So again when we deploy a virtual machine from a template it will have the operating system on it completely configured the way we want it which is a huge advantage of using Virtual Machine Manager over Hyper-V Manager and Failover Cluster Manager.
So that's just a brief overview of the basic administration of Virtual Machine Manager. Again, on ITDVDs.com, we go over in depth all the ins and the outs, installing Virtual Machine Manager, setting up networking, cloning virtual machines, creating templates. So please see ITDVDs.com if you're interested in learning more about Virtual Machine Manager 2016.